Hi guys, this is a short video. I know I have to talk loud over the motor, but it's how to show you how to center your engine with your rudder so they're not fighting each other for maximum economy. Now when I say maximum economy, right now I'm about 10 or 15 percent throttle position power on this little 9.9 .9 motor. My boat weighs about 3,000 pounds, it's a 20 foot boat, and I can go 80 miles to a six gallon can of gas. That's a long ways. What I do is I set up the motor and the rudder so that they're not fighting each other. In other words, the motor could be turned this way, the rudder could be turned this way, and you're plowing through the water, just like a skier plows the speed to slow down. You don't want that on a small boat, so you want it to be straight. And here's how you do it. So basically, I have my autopilot on. I've got my motor and everything already centered. I'm gonna show you the net result when it's done right. I'm gonna turn the autopilot off. I'm gonna disconnect this arm, and you're gonna notice that the tiller handle doesn't try to move anywhere or the other because they're both working in harmony. Had the motor been turned too far left or right, as soon as I disconnect this, it's going to swing over because the motor is pushing against the rudder and the motor is going to take over. So let's see where I have it. Let's turn this on autopilot off, disconnect the arm. You notice how it's not moving. It stays right in place. Now let me put it back on. Get auto. So right now this system is working very efficiently. But I'm going to show you how you get to this point. So to get to this point, you have to take your motor, disconnect your autopilot, or even just if you're hand holding your tiller, you can do that. And then you move the motor back and forth until the boat is going straight. Once the boat is going perfectly straight, it doesn't matter the hull plan or design or anything. The boat's going straight. And the, and the arm here it's basically straight, that's balance. So let's do a turn to show you what the effect is and show you how I center it. Again, I'm gonna take the autopilot off, disconnect it, put it all the way. I'm gonna loosen up my motor. Um, the motor's turning. Notice how the arm comes around, you see this? And if you look forward, you can see the boat's turning. Now I'm gonna come back I'm gonna get my boat back on course. I forgot to tell you, the rudder is up. Because <laughs> I'm in shallow water in the ICW in New Jersey. So the rudder is really high. So it was hitting my prop. We're doing a little sanding there. You guys get to see the good, bad, and the ugly. So now I'm gonna get the boat back on straight. When I get the boat on straight, okay, they're pretty much as straight. Go ahead and look forward so you can see the boat's going straight. Okay, then I'm going straight. I'm going to lock the motor in. Double check it again to make sure it's straight. Okay, right there, the boat is going straight. Just a little more to the right. Now I don't feel any pressure on this. We'll bring this back on. The autopilot. Now we want to make sure this is going straight. Once the autopilot takes that heading, I'm down here. Right? Sorry. Once the autopilot takes that heading, I'm going to test my theory to see that it's working. So I'm going to turn it off. Take this off. Went slightly to the left, but it's very little pressure. I could do some micro adjusting to get that dead on, or I could go ahead and trim off my rudder some more, as you recently saw. Like a, nothing like a little excitement once in a while. But basically now everything is centered. We're getting minimal drag and we're getting the most efficiency going forward. That's pretty much it. One other trick that I do on these little pilots is you get this little play in here. What I like to do is add this little bungee cord. What it does, it throws a little resistance on this to keep the slack from like, moving around. But that's basically how you would center everything here, my, of course, my rudder's in the up position. Because here in the New Jersey portion of the ICW, if you go from buoy to buoy, there's a lot of meandering. On a boat like this that barely draws a foot of water, you can just go straight. And it's a hassle to constantly follow these buoys. So to save myself all of that misery, balance everything out, go for what I want, put everything up, and just enjoy it up. But don't forget, when your keel is up, you can come around and hit the uh, motor. 
as you all experienced. Thanks for watching the videos. That's how to balance your motor to your tiller, uh, rudder, and get the maximum efficiency out.